this is the real case cambridge analytica a company how access the data from facebook and started using this data for political advantage to influence the political outcomes and when this have come out that cambridge analytica use the data to influence the american presidential elections it have become a very big news in fact when this was erupted the facebook share value has also come down and even mark zuckerberg was called to give an explanation on this so this is a real time case and uh, i think you all know recently andhra pradesh it grid telugu party it grid issue also played up about big data big data so in this particular issue first thing is answer the following questions what are the issues associated with the sharing of personal data on social media the first question to be addressed is what are the issues associated to the sharing of personal data in the media first we'll address this question issues concerns of privacy concerns of privacy generally whatever we do in our house in our private life we started a culture called sharing it okay everything we started sharing so first concern is privacy second commercialization and commercial use of our data so personal phone numbers to personal photographs to personal details now is in the market so they try to use it for a benefit for a outcome even for commercial use lack of informed consent that means whenever somebody is using our data they should take our consent and they should use the data for which we have given the consent lack of informed consent the word informed consent should be written next is unauthorized access cambridge for example in this case cambridge analytica without any authorization have taken the data of our personal data from facebook and they started misusing the data so unauthorized access and misuse and next is we should exhibit as individuals we should exhibit responsible behavior in social media most of us generally whatever we do for example whatever we want to share with our friends we do it in a public way everybody will have access it we don't really worry about the misuse if, uh, until unless some misuse has happened so we are showing irresponsible behavior in the social media but we should show responsible behavior in the social media and uh, we are into excessive or extreme social media indulgence right now we are ruled by social media right now we are ruled by social media we are into excessive social media indulgence right means whatever we do if you open your facebook twitter whatsapp we are sharing it and people can access our day to day affairs by our social media indulgence even this was a issue even this was a issue and these are the issues involved in the sharing of the personal data second part of the question is could possession of anonymous data could possession of anonymous data be an advantage in the political scenario if you have very big data of large number of people definitely is an advantage data is the new oil data is the new oil so information is power today data is the new oil whatsapp facebook extensive use in the recent elections whatsapp facebook was extensively used you all know that every political party have invested their time and energy in social media this time recently derek o'brien the rajya sabha mp introduced a bill to regulate social media in that he called social media as cheap india media he called social media as cheap india media so it was and social media is very famous to produce fake news alternative facts post truths which are unverified truths and irresponsibly we start sharing that without taking any responsibility we start sharing that and even bullying of the personalities we do lot of things in social media and uh, profiling of individuals 
profiling of individuals their personal profiling professional profiling see what cambridge analytica have done it have profile individual preferences by seeing our likes dislikes our sharings it have profile individuals and started giving targeted ads and started giving targeted ads and uh, social media have a tendency low cost but high output social media is very cheap but very high impact very high, high output at the same time active users of social media always keep sharing the data without verifying the facts irresponsibly without verifying the facts irresponsibly so this is the second question yes could position of anonymous data be an advantage yes it's an advantage for political mileage it is an advantage for political mileage and uh, question number c here is how data misuse or data theft should be controlled can be controlled how data misuse data theft should be controlled or can be controlled the answer is you can write this third question means part c of the question in three levels individual level intermediary level and regulator level in the individual level see generally we share our data without reading reading terms and conditions before you be a part of any social media read the terms and conditions carefully have a responsible presence in social media second is have a responsible presence third is be in control of what you share be in control of what you share and report any misuse immediately you be in control of what you share report any misuse immediately and also be aware of social engineering techniques be aware of social engineering techniques and don't believe any information blindly don't believe any information blindly so in the individual level we should do this and in the intermediate level in the intermediate level social media service providers they have the duty to protect our data they have the duty to protect our data the conditions and terms are, should be simple the conditions and terms are simple before using our data they should take our informed consent they should take our informed consent strict liability for data is misused strict liability if our data is misused this is intermediary level and state or regulator you all know recently we have sri krishna commission for sri krishna committee was constituted for privacy laws we should have strong privacy law strong legal deterrence strong punishments to those who misuse our data for example in gdpr general data protection regulations in europe there are very strong punishments on the websites on the social media sites which misuse the data that is called gdpr in europe and recently as you all know we have a case called shriya single versus union of india 2012 shriya single versus union of india in this case in this case section 66a of it act was declared as unconstitutional the way we share we have freedom of speech and expression in 191a at the same time we also have the right to privacy as a fundamental right we also have the right to privacy as a fundamental right so data theft data misuse should be contained should be stopped this is the answer for the next question next case study